general. So we're getting set now for the opening face-off between High Point and Navy. As we mentioned in the broadcast open, just the second time these two teams are playing each other in their program history as this game is officially underway from High Point, North Carolina. So Navy will get possession after the opening face-off. Seconds into today's game, Navy is able to get on the board. Dane Swatson getting his second goal of the season. He did not score in Navy's last game against Manhattan. And we were talking about this before the game, Mike, about just how big this midshipman team is. You look at their roster and you're reading 6'5", 230 pounds, 6'2", 208 pounds. When I was doing my... So congratulations to Max Armitage. First goal, the Panthers immediately win the faceoff and are on the move looking for more. Not wasting any time, but Navy able to get the ball back very quickly. Don't shot or come over from X, but right there, as you said, Mike, the pick and roll action there with Nick Rizzo. Rizzo fighting Maya, and Maya just saying, I'm going to shoot this and use all the force I got in me. High point able to win another faceoff. Colin Hoban doing a nice job settling for the Panthers as he gives it over to Michael Ippolito. Front. So this one minute without him is going to be a crucial minute. Navy's able to win the faceoff there. Try to tie things. His third goal of the season, his second goal of the day. And all of a sudden, we are all tied up at Vert Stadium. Zach Snyder with a good ground ball. All of those six goals that we saw were just action-packed. The fans, everybody was is, is into this game right now. Emotions are definitely high. Got a great crowd at Vert Stadium today to see this wonderful matchup between High Point and Navy as the midshipmen win the opening faceoff of the second period getting things started it's been a lot of physical contact especially in the final two minutes specifically navy not wasting any time taking the first shot of the second attackers got that panther defense confused and navy takes the lead early on in the second quarter navy has now almost taken twice as many shots as high point how about colin hoban saying give me that ball ball being fought for on the ground Ground balls win you games, and High Point still fighting for it. Navy still fighting for it, back and forth, but the Panthers finally able to scoop it up. Junior from St. Paul, Minnesota, goal number 10 for him this season. Had four goals in High Point's last outing against VMI. And has really just had an amazing start to the season so far for the Panthers. What a fight for this faceoff we have right now. High Point able to get it. That's huge. They have a chance now to get two goals in a row. Jackson Peters is still in the penalty box. He'll be in the penalty box for the next four seconds. So he's almost out. And losing the ball there for Navy is Bobby Kittleberger. High point now on the move with the chance to potentially take a two goal lead. A chance. Van Overback scored the first goal. This time he assisted finding Nick Murphy for his third goal of the 2023 lacrosse season. Faceoff is ultimately won by Navy, but High Point not giving up. Look at the defense of the Panthers. They are absolutely swarming the midshipmen. Not giving them anything easy as they try to. This fifth goal of the year. It's got to be good to get five goals in the early stages of your freshman campaign. Never an easy thing to do. Scored against Manhattan the other day. And now all of a sudden, Jade. Fight for the faceoff. Navy wins this one. High point now up to 20 shot attempts. Seven goals converted on those 20 shot attempts. Honestly, I, th I think that would be a it, it, wonderful That'd be idea. some high quality yes. entertainment. Yes. There's certain games that just get you more and more pumped up, and this is one of those games. This is a very, this was a very. Green, number 40 in the purple and white. A really Brick solid wall. first half, as the second half is now officially underway from Vert Stadium, High Point, and Navy. Only six saves for Parker Green. Jackson Lamb, that's his fourth goal of the season. 
scored one against the Cadets of VMI in High Point's last game. Colin Oban nearly was able to get the faceoff win for High Point, but lost control of the ball at the last second, and here come the midshipmen now, moving fast. They trail by four, trying to get back. Duke lacrosse player most notably known for his amazing dodging ability. Our line is as versatile as they come. He was a three-sport athlete in high school, of course, played lacrosse, but and not someone you want to see go down. Your starting faceoff guy, Colin Hoban, who's taken every single rep out there so far for high point at the faceoff X. Last thing, of course, you want to see in a game like this, competitive game, Colin Hoban, such an integral part of this high point team. A massive part of yeah, this high point face -offs. team. A lot of their success ranges from what he does at that faceoff X. If he wins, they win. So for him to go down right now and nine minutes left in the third quarter, not good. So Hoban attended to right now by the high point medical staff. Some of the best. Medical staff from College of Cross right there. Cam Lindsley, the one and the only. Welcome back to Vert Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. High Point leading Navy 11 to 7 with 7.56 remaining in the third quarter. Prior to the timeout, we saw an amazing follow through shot from Braden Maia. High Point really starting to play active offensively on the attack as Hewitt's now the third Navy player today to hit two goals. Scored on the day. Faceoff is won by High Point. Oh, Jack Van Overbeck nearly pulled out an Odell Beckham making that catch. But he puts that one home and gets his third goal of the year in his young, prolific Navy career. Both teams fighting for the ground ball. An array of High Point and Navy players still fighting for it. Who wants it? Ball still loose. And High Point finally able to scoop it. Wow. Spalding Hall was finally able to get that ball under control. Another goal for Van Overbeck. Scored a couple goals. Also has notched a couple of assists as well. So first top performance for the junior. Brown ball fought for. Navy had it for a moment, but five high point players make it six. We're all in the mix there. And possession is going to go to the Panthers. Moving fast. Here comes Grand Amon with it for high point. Fourth quarter starting at Vert Stadium. High point and Navy. 12 to 9. Panthers leading the midshipmen. Great, great take from Rizzo. High point now up by four with less than 850 remaining here in regulation. Panthers really starting to get into a rhythm now. And yes, they're slowing things down offensively, but they're also being smart and they're attacking when the opportunity is given and they're converting on it, as you just saw right there from Nick Rizzo scoring a goal. gets it done on the offensive end. 6'2", 214. That's a frame that you're yes, probably going to see at the NFL. Players, I was going to say, man. you're going to see that all You're going to see that at the combine this year in the NFL. I see. Navy, the Panthers leading the midshipmen 13 to 11 with 755 remaining in regulation. Wendell Epps alongside Mike Guerriere here to bring you today's broadcast. Mike, we just have seen Navy get on a little bit of a run now. All of a sudden, they're within two, and they just won the faceoff coming out of the timeout. And stuffed that one home. And we've got ourselves a game here, Wendell. We certainly do, Mike. This one, it's only fitting that a game like this goes down to the wire. We see both teams give it their all from start to finish. And I'm Van name, and that's Jack Van Overback. I'm sure he's appreciating this North Carolina winter weather instead of that normal Minnesota cold. I am. Yeah. Jack Van Overbeck has been on fire. Oh, 
Close game right now at Vert Stadium. Ball is loose on the ground. Ground ball scooped up by Navy. As they're now looking to potentially tie things up on this possession. 